Hi there viewers, it's Carl Wilde here, CJW Realty in Bustleton, and it is October 2024, and just coming to you with a quarterly update uh, at this time in this video, and today I wanna to talk about trends, okay? So um, going back many, many years, um, when I did Mass 2 and 3, the TE ones in high school, um, and then got into university, um, a part of those um, high-end math course were in statistics and statistics just measures numbers and invariably from those measurements then we can see trends so I've learned a little bit um, and, and don't get me wrong I, I found it quite challenging and, and a little bit boring as well but um, at the same time it did teach me something and it taught me a little bit about reading trends and this um, I've brought into my real estate um, work um, you can see that in the stock market um, it's all about reading trends. So what, what's trending in real estate at the moment? Well, I'd like to look at a, a longer term view and let's talk about the last five years and just going on um, just pre-COVID and then COVID. Um, you know, pre-COVID, the market was just starting to go up a little bit, then COVID, then it went flat. And then um, unexpectedly, but not so unexpectedly with the supply demand equation, the market took off, you know. So from pretty much um, July 20 to July 21, I like to go on financial years. Uh, it's a good way to measure the trends. Um, we, we saw a 30% price rise in the market. You know, the median price bustled and was up from 360 to 470K, a, a really big jump. And then the next year, the, the market went from the 470 to 560, about a 19% jump. Um, the following year, the median house price went from 560 to 665, an 18% jump. So, you know, we're at July 23 now. Um, and then moving to July 24, we've gone um, about 14% jump from the 665 to around the 750. Okay, that's to July. Um, even since the last quarter, we've seen a jump again. It's sitting roughly about 765 the median house price um, for your Bustleton area. So overall, that's almost a 190% um, growth or what you know they call a doubling um, of values you know, in the last um, four to five years. So when we look at trends, then I go back like 30 years um, and we saw the last big boom back from about 2001 to 2006 and that lasted about four years. Um, we saw a little mini boom, not as not as strong growth numbers, back from about 2011 to 2015. So you know the trend I'm seeing is that these booms tend to last about you know four to five years before it gets to a point where the the buyers say no, um, we can't afford that anymore. They can't service those loans um, or the borrowings aren't there um, from the banks to get to that point. And I'm seeing I think now. You know, with with where we're at, you know, the eight hundred thousand median price in Bustleton um, could be reaching a price ceiling to where, you know, we're at the end of that five year stretch as well um, historically, and the buyers are now going, oh, we can't really get that. So, so what happens then is then a lot of sellers who are waiting or whatever on the sidelines start to get into the market. Um, they put their properties in. Our days on market, which is still under 25 days, starts creeping out because it becomes a, a larger supply of property in the property market. Okay, so, um, and we're seeing, we, we actually have seen that squeeze start to tighten up this year. Um, there is more properties coming on um, over the year. They're selling still fast because days on market's under 25. But yeah, I, you know, I don't like to um, be a prophet or anything like that, but if you, you look at past historical trends, I think we're reaching a, a bit of a ceiling there. Um, and then you, you look at some other factors as well. It's not, it's not linear. There's so many factors going on, you know, land releases, um, new home starts, um, migration. You know, there's all of these factors um, statistically that will affect the marketplace and therefore create these trends. Um, so guys, I hope you've um, enjoyed that little bit of insight today. Have a look out on my page. Um, it'll be our Facebook page, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll be releasing our quarterly market report 
very shortly um, of the suburb by suburb growth over the last quarter and year to date. Um, so you can just see some of those trends and see where your suburb sits. And if you specifically want a assessment of your own particular property in real estate, then by all means, uh, give us a call. Um, myself, one of the sales reps, and we'd be happy to have a look at it for you and sit down. It'll only take you know, 10 to 15 minutes and come back to you with a, a letter of appraisal and a full report. So uh, yeah, I hope it's been good for you guys today. And remember, see me if you need to sell. Thank you.